Hello, hello, we are back again. I'm going to attempt to do my two foot by four foot canvas again. I didn't show you the last video because it was gross. It was not worth it at all. So I'm going to run you really quickly through this beginning part of the video and get straight on. We don't like long and drawn out apparently. <laughs> so here we go. I've got a paint of black paint, which is Colvin & Co's acrylic mixed with a Cardo. And that is a Flow Formula acrylic black. I haven't used it before, but I'm quite eager to try it. I have white, which is also Colvin & Co's white, mixed with half a part pouring medium. All of the colours today are mixed one part paint, half a part pouring medium, and then just water to get it to the right thickness. I also have Colvin & Co's rose, which I have mixed with Royal Lang Nickel Crafters Choice Acrylic Paint to make this beautiful colour. So I'll pop that here. I have Cerulean Blue here. Ultramarine Blue, which is Brunel Franklin. Yep, same for the Cerulean, that was Brunel Franklin as well. And then I have this absolutely gorgeous fluorescent pink. And that's Reeves Acrylic, and it is called Fluorescent Rose. No, it isn't. Fluorescent pink is a different language that says rose. Then I've mixed myself a cup of metallic acrylic paint. That doesn't have any branding as such on there. And this. This is Dayla Rowney graduate acrylic and it's violet number 450. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've got an entire cup of this colour here. Da, 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 da. And that's all of them. That's my black, my white. We are ready to rock. I'm going to be adding silicon into the pinks and the blues. I'll go for three drops into each cup. I have two little dominoes and I have a handy swiper. I'm going to swipe with this because I've been spending a lot of time swiping with paper towels recently and it's just not working for me. My paint consistency was too thick on my previous run. I did one part paint with one part Liquitex pouring medium. And then I left my paints around for a while and I must have just had them too thick. So all of that said, I'll show you my canvas. 19.7 inches by 47.2 inches. That is just shy of two foot by four foot. Here's my canvas. It is black because I have painted it once before. I failed miserably and pretty much peeled it off. The areas that wouldn't peel off, I, I sanded and then I gave it a coat of gesso. I sanded it again. I gave it a coat of just acrylic black. I sanded it again. And now it's had a rub down with a sponge with my black mix with the Liquitex pouring medium already in there. Now the back of this canvas, here we are, has insulation boards in there to prevent this board from sagging and I'm just holding them in with little drawing pins. And we are ready to rock. Let's crank it down. I'll go around and check I'm fully level again because it doesn't look like I'm quite on there. I'll adjust the camera, I'll make it so you're looking straight down onto this piece and we'll begin. Uh, I have all of these gloves here that have been on top of my cups keeping my paint nice, so I'm going to use those. Now I'm just going to bob outside and get some silicon and mix that in now. The silicon I'm using is the same silicon as ever, ever build all purpose silicon. I just dispense it into a little cup and pour about three drops into each of my colours. So the blues and the pinks I'm going for. I've got my gloves on, I'm going to dive straight in and pour on black. Now this is, in my opinion, quite a liquid recipe. I'm convinced I don't normally have my paints this runny, but what I thought was okay in my previous attempt was far too thick. See here, it's really quite thin. Let me mix in this silicon before I forget. Quite a good stir there. I'm 
a good stir of the fluorescent pink. A good old stir of the ultramarine blue. And I think the cerulean blue had quite a lot of silicon in there. It went out in a drizzle rather than droplets. And it is only half a cup, slightly more than half a cup of paint. Okay, so they've all got the silicon in. I'm just going to carry on what I was doing here. Okay, I've got a load of black down. I can neaten all of this up as I go. I'm going to just start throwing colours about a little bit. I have nearly a pint of white here. Right, <laughs> what do you think to that approach? No messing about here. So I'm just going to place a bit more colour along these areas, more specifically. I have some stunning things going on already. Can't wait to move this a little bit and just have a look. Now I'm used oh, I'm using a lot less paint than I used as well with it being too thick last time. It wasn't going very far. And with it being much runnier this time, it's doing beautiful things by itself. Okie dokie. This is my no frills approach. <laughs> I just need to get it done now. I wasted a lot of money, a, f a whole bottle of Liquitex Pouring Medium in the previous attempt at this and all of the paints. There was four and a half pints of paint that all went to nothing. Okay, we shall begin. I'm going to swipe with my red thing. I'm going to swipe from this end, so hopefully you are getting the bottom of the canvas. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Sorry for the little glare you're getting off my spotlights. We've got such an array of cells. I'll just zoom in. Well, look at that. These metallic ones right in centre screen at the moment have all got their own little dot of colour in the centre. Do you see that? That's a little bit cool.
okay so i've taken a break i have had some feedback from some of you on facebook and i've had contact with the buyer who's quite happy with the piece and we'll just have to see how much this looks at me funny there's a spot here that's repelled so i will have to do something there and there's a spot here that's repelled but it's not so much that it's that it's the canvas i'm working with i think it's just where the paint's pulling in a, a little bit <laughs> so yes i will need to put some more black here I'll just grab my domino. And do a little swipe here where I poured the black just to make sure I get that slightly repelled area. So I pretty much managed to leave it alone. I've, twi I've tweaked one or two areas that were just a bit muddy. I've touched up my edges. I gave it a little extra torch down this end. I'll bring you in closer. Okay, so this is what we've got. This is the way up I've decided that the piece needs to go. We have cells galore. Sorry for my shadow and for the glare points. I was waiting to hear back off the buyer so that I know how to proceed. Um, the buyer likes it. And I suggested the form of a lady uh, I'll add a picture on. So I'll be bringing the head over here. We have two arms. This comes up to her shoulder. Down to her waist. And this will be around her belly button. This will form one of her boobs. And this will be a hip. So yes, I did a quick sketch in my phone that showed the lady on the piece. And it is agreed that she belongs there. Here we are. Absolutely gorgeous areas in this piece. Every kind of cell that you could look for. These carried on kind of morphing and merging overnight of their own free will. Some of them are great. Like here's a really nice area. 
very clear. And the millions of cells down this end. And then we do have one or two areas that are muddied. That I'm going to come in and hand paint as I add the lady. I'll just tweak one or two areas, I believe. And I'll probably put that out as a second part of the video. I want to thank you all for joining me. And I want to thank everyone for all of the input on Facebook at that critical moment. I would have absolutely re-swiped it. There is no, there's no two ways about it. So you saved the piece from that. And now she will become a lady, which she never ever would have done if I hadn't stopped at that point. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.